Miroslav Kralizo was a Croatian writer, playwright, and journalist who is considered one of the most important figures in Croatian literature. He was born on July 7, 1893, in the small town of Ozilj in Croatia and died on December 29, 1981 in Zagreb, Croatia. Throughout his life, Kralizo was a vocal critic of fascism and communism and was known for his powerful and thought-provoking literature. Kralizo's early life was marked by poverty and hardship. His father was a schoolteacher who struggled to make ends meet, and Kralizo was forced to leave school at a young age to help support his family. Despite this, he was a voracious reader and was always drawn to literature. He began writing at a young age and his first published work, a poem, appeared in a local newspaper when he was just 14 years old. In 1913, Kraliza moved to Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, where he began studying at the University of Zagreb. He was heavily influenced by the work of the symbolist poets and began to develop his own unique style of writing. In 1915, he published his first book of poetry, entitled The Book of the Dead. The book was a stark and powerful reflection on the horrors of World War I and was widely praised by critics. After the war, Kraliza continued to write and publish poetry, but he also began to branch out into other forms of literature. In 1920, he published his first play, The Glembajivi, which was a critical success. The play dealt with the lives of a wealthy Croatian family and explored themes of power, corruption, and class struggle. It was widely considered to be a masterpiece of Croatian literature and established Kraliza as one of the most important writers of his generation. In the 1920s and 1930s, Kraliza continued to write plays, poetry, and videos that dealt with important social and political issues. He was a vocal critic of fascism and communism and was known for his strong anti-fascist and anti-communist views. He was also a strong advocate for the rights of the working class and was deeply committed to the cause of socialism. During World War II, Kraliza was forced to flee Croatia and sought refuge in the United States. He spent the war years in exile, writing and publishing articles and videos that condemned the atrocities of the war. After the war, he returned to Croatia and continued to write and publish, but he was also deeply involved in politics. He served as a member of the Croatian parliament and was a vocal critic of the communist government. Kraliza's later years were marked by increasing health problems, but he continued to write and publish until his death in 1981. Throughout his life, he was a powerful and influential voice in Croatian literature and was widely considered to be one of the greatest writers of his generation. Kraliza's legacy is that he remains one of the most important figures in Croatian literature. His work continues to be widely read and studied, and his influence can be seen in the work of many contemporary Croatian writers. He is remembered for his powerful and thought-provoking literature, as well as his commitment to social and political issues. His plays, poetry, and videos continue to inspire new generations of writers and readers, and his legacy lives on through his work.